Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with the Technical Trader, thetechtrader.com. Thursday, the 18th of January. These are the charts of the day. The market had a kind of a mixed session, um, a little bit of churning, perhaps. Technicals weren't very good. We'll see if it's just a digestion or indigestion <laughs> and the market needs to come down or not. We'll see. M most importantly, the charts we follow in trade are just still doing well. Here's an example of a bunch of them. APPS, a recent little low price puppy that I like a lot, which has been in a spectacular rising channel all year. Um, made another new high today at 215. And um, volume the last couple of days has been uh, over a million and a third. That's the, uh, two of the bigger days this year, or since September anyway. And you can see that um, the stock looks to me like it's headed higher and it may accelerate towards a 250, uh, 75 zone my target for a swing and maybe higher. And ultimately though, I think the stock could be uh, a four, four and a quarter dollar stock up here. Give me a nice looking chart. And 12 and a half days to cover my last number. Um, Seabay, well, an old swing of ours from way back. Originally gave you the stock in uh, June at 505. That was down here when it broke out in June and it continued to move up. It's now doubled uh, up over 100% in the last six months. Um, current targets were, I had targets of eight and three quarters and 10. We've reached both of them. I'm gonna up those targets to 12 and 14. Sure looks like it wants to head there. CBIO looking very good. Not a swing trade, but a stock that's been uh, incredibly solid since it raced out, broke out here, pulled back and has run up. Now it's near the resistance and top of the channel. I would exert caution here since it's gone from three to 18. This is a six fold increase just in September. So careful. Corey, C-O-R-I. Really like the look of this chart. Really um, nice multiple way move here and then consolidating platform. Um, currently, I it looks like the angle's changed to look a little bit more like this. So you can see we may be getting near the top of this channel and we're at lateral resistance as well. So, uh, but my target's 16 if we do break through. Nine and a half days to cover. Court, this is a swing trade and has been a good one all year. Uh, give it to you in August at 13.95. Raised the targets a couple of times, currently 25 and 28.9. Today we reached 23.58, up another dollar 39 or 6%. Looks like the top of the channel may be tested very shortly. That comes in around 25. To momentum. Castilium, a new one I gave you. Um, just, uh, well, it's not actually a swing. That's right. But I do like it a lot. And I said this morning that it looked like it could be a swing. But I since I put on a century aluminum, I'd stick with that one. Although this one does have potential to be 14, 15 short term. And looking at the channel angle, maybe a 17, 18 dollar stock in the next few weeks. Looks pretty good. ESIO, spectacular pop today. It exploded for 19% um, on 6.9 million shares and a breakaway gap and actually took out slightly or right up to the old high here, which was 27.72 to the high today, 27.65. So within a few pennies of that and backed off a little bit. You can see that the coil that was taken out with a breakaway gap on that kind of volume usually leads to higher levels. I'm looking for 31 short term. Everbridge, one of my top 25, spectacular move and still going if they're breaking out across the multiple resistance here, it's popped and it's stair-stepping its way higher. I have a target now in the 37, 38 zone. FANH, this, this I believe Chinese uh, insurance company, just spectacular chart. Pop retest, retest, pop flag, pop mini flag, another wedge in here, break out and run up. Looks to me like it's at resistance to the all time high if you go back way back in here, but it, today actually I think made a new high. This looks like it could have momentum right to 35. Glyco Mimetics. Well, we gave you this one as a swing way back when. Let's see. Uh, it was back in September 25th of 1419. That was back here, September the 25th when it broke out. It then pulled back, tested, but held support. And from there, it's moved from 10 to 22 and a half. And target's 26. Nine days to cover short. Big day after GNC, it uh, exploded for 50 million shares and popped $1.79. Uh, it looks to me like it's at initial resistance, but it closed above the declining top line and the declining 50. So at this point, it either backs and fills in here and sets us up for more or goes right to six and a half, three quarters before it does that. Either way, eventually I'm looking for seven and a half, maybe nine or 10. HTGM, very promising looking pattern after a big pop in March of last year. Came down and based out for a few months. 
breakout and then a pullback. The pullback was exacerbated by um, yesterday uh, on some news, but it did it's come right back on a bullish engulfing day, closing in the upper end of the range. Very good sign. The volume also increased a bit, two and a half million. Once we get across four and then four and a half, we should see five or better. If ultimately, I'm looking for eight dollars on a swing for this one. ICHR, another semiconductor, and, and with incredible momentum the last couple of days. There's a breakout yesterday and the follow through today. It's that resistance. I do think the target at this point, I guess through 35, and that's my short term target, would be about 45. Juno, you know, well, what can we say? This looks like a deal is definitely in the works and uh, probably will be taken out about oh, anywhere between, I would guess, 80, give or take five points. We'll see. It might be done right here at 75. Kodak, well, after the explosive move in the three or four day hold right there, it started to move yesterday. Today was a positive session. It was up at 70 cents on 9.7 million, but it needs to get better volume than that. My targets are going to be 13, however, and 17 going forward if it does work. Mark, coming out of a four day pullback flag and a beauty on low volume, today it popped. Now, the volume wasn't huge today, so I'll, I'll reserve judgment as to how quickly it goes. If volume does pick up and it goes to 15.10, I think the stock going to 18.20 on this move. I'd love to look at that. MRAM, after a decline from 25 down to under 7, the stock has reversed. We tested the moving averages, which are crossing over, and then today pops spectacularly up 181 to 22% on a million, million, the biggest volume since the IPO day. And to me, it looks like we're going to head toward 12 and 14. A little bit of resistance right there, about 12. Beyond that, third target will be up in the high teens of 18, 19. If we can get there, well, let's see what happens if there's a follow through first. 7.3 days to cover short. MRTX, absolutely stellar. This, ever since we put this one out, um, September 18th at 10.82, after the pop and pullback, it's gone straight up and more than doubled. Well, almost tripled now. The, 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 the price I had on it was 10.82, and here we are at 27. So. Pretty soon you might see a triple at 30 and it only took uh, four months. Um, so we're getting long in the tooth and you can see we're up against resistance in this zone up here, but the ultimate target will be 40 and 50. Wouldn't shock me to see that eventually. However, again, short term overbought. Today was up $2.220 or 8.9%. 8, 8 MX, well, after a spectacular presentation, I was told by, at the Needham conference, the stock exploded today and popped. Dollar twenty-five or eleven percent on almost a million shares, nine hundred thousand, and more importantly, broke through a, a multitude of highs and, and resistance in this zone, and is now challenging the high, uh, the multi-year high at thirteen thirty-five. We get through that, I'm looking at fifteen sixty range. NBEV after a pop last week, and then it pulled back this week, it filled the gap, and then snapped right back with a breakaway gap today on three point four million. This has got to get above here, and if it does, and that that number is. 363, we're headed for 450 and 550, in my opinion. NBIX, love the look of this one. And uh, I gave this to you just a little while ago, December 29th at 77 and a half. So it popped to 85, which is my first target. Actually, 83 was, and then pulled back. My new target now is going to be upwards of 90, maybe 98. But the stock looks like it has more to go. This is a three-wave corrective flag, and it snapped back today, 268 or 3.5%. 100% stop now under 74. Beneath that, 68 is support. Kiwi. Well, when I gave it to you, it immediately pulled back. I gave it to you at 17.25, perhaps a little bit too aggressive. It pulled back to 16, held, and now 18. Now, today was up um, 85 cents or 5%. Volume was about 670,000, uh, 870,000. And you can see how the wedge formed and broke out. Now it's right at resistance at this line. Today's high at 1859. The high here, 1859. So this is almost a perfect double top. If we get through this, look for 2122. This looks pretty intriguing. A right handed extended V or platform with the moving averages crossing over. Excellent. And Viking Therapeutics survived support and the trend line. As you notice, it popped and had a beautiful bullish. It, Engulfing day. It's an engulfing reversal day. Now the volume picked up, but it wasn't spectacular. I want to see more volume coming into it. My targets are five and a half, six, and six and a half going forward, if not more. XXII, spectacular breakout above a double top. And if you look at the chart since 
you know, the last 12 months, it's gone from under a dollar to almost four. So it's about 300% in the last year. But this is one of these low price stocks that could just keep going, targeting four and a half and five and three quarters. And finally, Yandex, the Russian internet company, um, after four months of consolidation, just has teamed, turned right through the resistance level here and kept going. My target is 41.2 zone and then 46.7 zone. That's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good evening. Let's make some money tomorrow. Bye-bye.